Hi everybody, it's Tara and I am here to share a project with you. Um, this project is for a swap that I did over at Mini Album Scraps. It was a cigar box and trim swap for the months of July, I'm sorry, for June and July. Uh, my partner was Carla and Carla told me that she liked vintage, uh, she liked shabby chic and some of her favorite colors were pink and blue. So I decided to go with Shabby Chic. Um, I've never done Shabby Chic before um, and I really really like the way that this box came out. Um, I really really like uh, the Shabby Chic uh, look of it and so I'm definitely going to be doing more projects with that style. But um, let me tell you a little bit about the box. Uh, I used the Die Cuts with a View uh, French Country Stack. Um, and I painted the whole box with uh, Martha Stewart uh, pink taffeta and um, let's see so let's start uh, let's start with this so for the frame here it was a Michaels frame a wooden frame and I painted it with um, let's see this is pearlized jet blue I'm sorry jet stream and so what I did for the frame was um, I took one of these brushes and I pounced on the on the frame and it left like these little bubbles and I liked the way it looked so I just went over it with the heat gun and it just kept like that bubble. It didn't bubble up from the heat but it just kept the bubbles that were created from me pouncing with that brush. So I don't know if you can see that texture but it, I really like the way that came out. And then for the top here, I just added a little slider buckle that I got from BD Bomb Bomb and a pink flat back pearl. And so down here, um, all the flowers that I used are Wild Orchid Crafts. And so this was a curly wild rose, I believe. Um, and I sprayed all the flowers with scintillating silver from Lindy Stamp Gang. And here's another little rose here and here and a little rose there. Um, and for some of the roses, I distressed them with this uh, Victorian Velvet Distress Ink, and I love this color. It went perfectly with this paper stack. So that's what I did there. And then um, I added these little flat back um, pearls here, and there's another one there. And I actually got those from eBay, and I think I got like 30 of them for 99 cents. They were like really cheap. Um, so I used those there and then I just created some little loops here with um, I think it's three mil three millimeter uh, pink pearl strands I got from Formosa Crafts and I did a haul video on on that and then this is a little making memories um, metal uh, little metal embellishment that I've had for a while so I stuck that down in there so that's that corner and then up here um, this is a Prima Rose that I added. Um, the rest are Wild Orchid Crafts. And again, I distressed some of these three flowers here with that Victorian Velvet and then sprayed it with the Scintillating Silver. Um, these blue flowers, I, they were already kind of like light blue, but I added, um, I painted over them with the uh, Jetstream Pearlized Paint. Oh, let's see. See some more of these um, buttons here, or these flat back um, little embellishments there. And I added one on either side. Uh, let's see what else. So let me turn it around. And then over here, um, this is a porcelain flower with the ribbon rose, and I added two of those here, and I got those from Pro 31 Designs, and then some more little. Um, uh, flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts. So that's that. And then I trimmed the whole box with this beautiful um, lace. It's like an ivory lace that I got from AC Moore. And then this is the blue flatback pearls that I got from Formosa Crafts. And so that's what I did around the whole, the whole box. And I love the way this box came out. I almost don't want to give it away, but I will. <laughs> so let's look at the inside so the inside I just added some paper from the collection and I'm going to turn my camera up so you can see there we go 
Okay, so again, more paper from the collection. And this is a flower that I got from Teresa from My Scrap World. When we were in a, a mini album swap, she actually had this flower on one of the goodie bags that she gave me. And I thought that it ma matched perfectly with this paper collection. And I really don't think the camera is uh, doing it justice. But um, So I took that off the bag and I added this uh, mauve colored lace to the back of it and stuck that down in the corner. And then for the trim, the trimming going around the, around the sides of the box, I took some of this pearl trim here. And this is the mint from... Formosa Crafts and this is um, again the pink and so all I did was I just twisted it I just twisted it up and then stuck it um, around the corner around the sides of the box and I really like the way that that came out you can see okay so um yeah, so that's that's what I did. Um, I hope she likes it, and I hope you guys like it. Again, like I said, I really like the shabby chic look, and I'm definitely going to be doing some more projects like this. Um, so if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask or leave a comment, and I'm going to add some still photos at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye.